is an Italian serpent gourd. Very fine eating, raw, around 10 inches or so. Peeled, steamed, baked, stuffed. The tips are, and the leaves are also edible. Saute them, steam them like any other green. We have had quite a bit of success this year. We've had quite a bit of loss. The deer took out quite a few hundred of the cow peas, amaranth, all sorts of stuff. They just kept eating the okra and a lot of it was let go. Just couldn't maintain it with the weeding. So this was all <laughs> garden here and now it's some garden and weeds. The bushes and the trees are all doing extremely well. We have kiwi vine in pots. We have another round of tomatoes here. Melons, strawberries, borage, Swiss chard was cut back. Pepper plants are totally out of control. And I have been butterfly stalking the zinnia, marigold, and lots of other flowers that I have here have been great attractors. See all these peppers, they're just changing color, but the whole bush is just loaded down. Lemon balm, cat, uh, catnip, these are uh, rare French cantaloupe don't really know how to say the name. And over here are the sunchoke. They are well over, they're well over seven feet now. All of the arborvitae took really well. We have the uh, mulch piles in place for the next round of planting and path making over the winter. This is one of the perilla and flower patches that's fading back now. And sweet potatoes. I don't know how that's gonna turn out this year because the deer kept eating the greens. So we'll see, do a little dig. I'll take a quick walk. So you could see the size of the apple tree. So sorry, sorry friends, disturbing your meal. Butterflies everywhere. These fig that came in, I really didn't uh, think that they were gonna make it. And these are one of the most dramatic growers of the of the first round of tree planting. Little patch of tomato there, not staked. I did a lot of wild growing. I just put the plants out, out and about. Didn't take too much care with them. And they're, they're doing, they're, they're doing well. This is going to produce fig this year. That's cool. We're in late August. The temperatures have just been brutal. We don't have much water and the mulch, the cardboard and the mulch was definitely a lifesaver. This apple tree has definitely put on over a foot and a half. The hazelnut, not much growth on them, but they're holding tough. And the apricot and that's the avocado right there, one of them very alive here. We let a lot of the weeds just go on the property. Another avocado there. And there's raspberry and blackberry and honeyberry. And we had the pawpaw, but I took them out. Now oh, this guy is kind of buried in here. That's our nectarine, one of the nectarine. 
the paths, first laid path is just totally growing in. And that is the peach tree. And there is a chestnut tree down that way. The wild garden here, the gorilla gardening, really didn't do much. I see parsley still holding on. A couple beans that managed to stay hidden from the deer and lots of perilla. But there were cucumbers and all sorts of flowers and herbs planted and, and nothing made it except a couple of marigolds and the perilla. I saw one zinnia and a cosmos. Here's another good patch of perilla and these were wild tomatoes. Got a couple of nice ones off of them, but it was really, that, that spot wasn't good. They weren't happy there at all. And American persimmons is back there in the cage. That's not showing too much signs of growth, but the pea shrubs that are all throughout here are doing really well. And there's some more of the chestnut and persimmons through the pathways here. And the chestnut down this way too. This patch did the best for the wild grown tomatoes. I've been collecting them here every couple days. They were put in, only got watered every once in a while when the tree got watered. And there's still a couple on the vines here. But they produced a good amount for being ignored. I was very happy with them and they never split. The ones in the main garden were getting pelted by a lot more sun and they split. But it didn't much matter to me because I'd been doing a lot of seed collecting, eating fresh, and doing the the dehydrated tomatoes, which I'm was gonna say for winter, but I'm making those a snack. Tomato chips. So we got a couple more piles of the the mulch back here. And this is where we ended the pathway. And even so we're going, we're not splitting the cardboard and, and some spots we're going too deep. Stuff's just growing straight through it. No match for mother nature. And here's one of the gorgeous Siberian pea shrubs. So if you were on the fence about doing this because it's a cold climate, originated in a cold climate, I think it's enjoying the very hot weather here and <laughs> enjoyed being rescued. All right, well, I hadn't done one of these videos in quite some time because it's just been taking way too long to upload them. But as you can see, we have been extremely busy spreading mulch, making all these gorgeous pathways, just meandering through the property. There's another one of the persimmons. The persimmons in the main garden out to the side where I shot the basil, the bugs. That's doing really well, two of them out there. I have no idea what this is, but this is blooming all over the property right now. So I hope you guys are doing well. Seed collecting is going strong. I'm still shipping them out, trying to, you know, trying to help people out where I can, when I can. That's about it for our update. We're plugging along. Hopefully it won't be so long in between the next one. From our house to your house, wishing you all the best. Take good care.